thank you. Uh, nataka tu nikufundishe tu mwaka huu ni kuambia the coming year 2023 is a year of faith. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So anything and a success that you want it is a, it will be based on faith. Faith, obedience and uh, genuinity. God has come back to mankind. God had gone. Tulikuwa Mungu ametuacha kwa sababu ya tabia zetu mbaya. Lakini as we continue to pray asking God to come in back to our lives, we are going to be expected to do things. God is going to bless you abundantly. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. God is going to bless the country Kenya abundantly. And the world will be blessed but with conditions. God will come but not without what? Without conditions and his conditions now are a bit tougher. So the blessings of God will be in huge. Farmers will harvest. The government will do well. Everything will do well, but there is a condition for that wellness to be there. There will be a condition that God has given me, I tell you. I will be touching a few of it, but siku ya kuruka mwaka, we will speak more about it and we will expound on it and then continuously to kiendelea we are going to do much and much. On uh, the end of January, we shall be in Muranga County, Ihora Stadium. That is where we are going to plead our case in the court of heaven. We are going to have a huge meeting the, of believers. The believers who people believe that they believe in God. We shall be having a huge meeting in Muranga, Ihora Stadium. Towards the end of the, the month, January, there we will be taking our case to God. Do you know how to take your case to God? That is what I want to teach from today. How you can take your case. Because when there is a judgment, there is a day of what? Judgment. And even we have diseases as a result of judgment. We have problems and we are facing now because of a result of what? God is annoyed with us. When God is annoyed with you, he makes a judgment. Hallelujah. He says and he releases demons. In the book of Judges 6, verse number 1, the Bible says, And the children of God did that which was evil in the eyes of God. And then God handed them over into the hands of the Midians. Meaning, it was God's decision to do the punishment to the children of Israel because of what they did. Some of us are suffering not because we deserve to suffer. We are suffering because... Uh, tumiapatiano kwa mkono wa amidiani ambao wanatupiga wanatudhulumu wanatunyanyaza wamemagonjwa ni mamidiani umaskini ni umidiani kosefu wa kazi ni umidiani kwenda kwa waganga na warogi na wachawi ni umidiani most of us we are in the hands of our tormentors because god has allowed that and when god allows what is happening to you now it is because there is a judgment hallelujah when there is a judgment for those who for those of us who have gone to court for those men of us that have been taken to court there is a process that you go ya judge ya magistrates mpaka unafanywa judgment unafanywa hukumu hiyo hukumu ndio inasema uachiliwe ama ufungwe bwana yesu asifiwe sana sasa kule binguni kuna hukumu hutolewa na mungu mwenyewe na hukumu inatolewa kwa sababu ya matendo yetu kwa sababu ya njia zetu kwa sababu ya mipango yetu because of what we are doing judgment is released when a judgment has been released we don't go making noise judge akitoa hukumu na apige kale kanyudo kake anaseme this is the decision of the court you keep silent and you are taken to the prison gallows and you are arrested and you are, you are, you are jailed kama ni kufungwa na ifungwa kama ni kunyongwa unaenda kunyongwa ni mtu mmoja amekaa kwenye benchi na anasema ukufe na unakufa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Anasema ufungwe miaka 30 na unafungwa. Anasema ufungwe miaka 20 na unafungwa. Anasema unyaganywe nyumba yako na unanyaganywa. Sema kunyaganywa. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo kile kitu nakufundisha siku ya leo in heaven there is judgment. And this judgment will come this way. If you misbehave, you do that which is not according to the will of God which is not according to the teachings of God. If you disrespect his will, disrespect his commands, disrespect his teaching, then God will be aggrieved. And when he is aggrieved, anachilia judgment. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hiyo umaskini mwambie mwenzako, hiyo umaskini unaona uko nayo. 
kwa sababu imetusumbua mpaka kwa kijiji hata sasa wengine wetu tunataka kuhama mwambie ni judgment haleluya all that we are facing now we are facing problems because we are under a judgment from heaven the diseases yambazo naona zimekuwa nyingi kansa ukimwi whatever kind of diseases ushukari pressure all these manner and they call them not diseases these diseases are not called diseases cancer is not a disease pressure is not a disease blood sugar ama kisukari is not a blood disease they call it lifestyle bana yesu sana they call it lifestyle so what is lifestyle lifestyle is what you've decided to live to do to be the language the life you've decided that this is my language this is my life this is my plan this is my work this is what i will be i will be a lesbian i will be a gay i will be a devil worshiper i will be doing this a b c d that is what we call a lifestyle and the lifestyle you choose gives you a direction of your life the lifestyle you choose gives you what you will become if you decided to become a prostitute then you will have the benefits of becoming a prostitute if you decided to become a witch there are benefits that are associated with being a witch ukiamua kuwa mtu wa kusengenya kuna mazao ya masengenyo ukiamua mtu wa kurukaruka kuna kuna mazao yanaohuzanishwa unahusinishwa na nini na totete ambacho umeamua unataka kuwa that is what you will get the fruits you will get the fruits of what you've decided bana yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo katika nchi yetu there is a judgment ambayo iliachiliwa because we decided not to be the children of god but the children of the devil watu wamehama makanisani in fact we are persuading people to come back to church not because wachubiri walikufa lakini wahubiri walikeuka wakuwa wakora bana yesu asifiwe sana Sio eti kwa sababu wahubiri walikufa hawajafa wako lakini walibadilika wakakuwa wakora na pia washirika na wao wao ndio walibadilisha wahubiri wakakuwa wakora kwa sababu washirika nyinyi mumekuja you don't want to see to be taught the word of god you want a miracle na munaeda so wakati niliona mhubiri anaona watu wanataka tu mira kwa kuje apokee muujiza aende sasa na sisi tukaona kwa sababu hiyo ndio wanataka hawataki mugu tukaenda Tanzania tukanunua pete tukaenda Nigeria tukanunua pete tukaenda Ghana tukanunua hilisi na pete nikikuja niseme simameni simameni mnasimama sasa wagapi wanataka kupokea au gofu za kutoka biguni mnaambiwa sasa nataka jitayarishe nitengeneza nafasi tengeneza nafasi sasa hizi nimevalishwa kipeta kikubwa hapa ninafanya nyote mnaaguka mnaenda mkisema huko kuna upako bwana yesu asifiwe sana huko kuna nini kuna upako kwa sababu kuaguka ndio ukupona kwenu kuaguka ndio upako kuaguka ndio kuona mugu bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa sababu tunajua hivyo hautaki mugu kwa hivyo i will not associate my god i will build a house like this one and call it the house of god or the house of lord you will not be able to interpret which lord am i talking to bwana yesu asifiwe sana you will not be able to interpret which kind of a god i'm speaking about so you come and see the banner this is a miracle wonderful uh, god jesus power what tabanako Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And this is that which has caused us God to get out of us. Because tumemwacha Mungu, tumemwasi Mungu, tukawa watu wa kununua miujiza. Kwa hivyo you converted our pastors or your pastors wakakuwa watu wa kusukua source ya kuachilia mujiza at the expense of your money. Ndio unakuta mkiombea na mstipasa mchungaji unapompigia simu anakuambia hayo ni madhabahu yanakusumbua Unamwambia nifanyeje babangu babangu ambia basi tesikiliza nikwambie hayo madhabahu unayavunja Nikusikiliza ni nikasikia kuna madhabahu ya mababu Alafu nimesikia hapo ndani kuna madhabahu ya uchawi 
Katika hadi hapo nyuma kidogo nimesikia pia kuna madhabahu ya ushelati. Sasa nimepiga hesabu na darubini kutoka binguni bwana ameniambia hiyo madhabahu itavunjwa kwa za shilingi laki tatu kwa maana naona jenesa kumi zinateremka kwako. Sasa ukisikia kuna jenesa na amekuambia utoe laki tatu ukuvunjie madhabahu. Then with the panic because you don't believe in God. You don't wait for God. Because the Bible says test every spirit. Even what I'm teaching you now, gonna test it. Don't just follow me blindly. You need to know which Jesus I'm preaching. Because there are so many Jesuses. Hallelujah. Wako wengi. Wale wana wasikia waliulizo nani? Yesu tunamujua. Paolo tunamujua. Wewe ni nani? Na walikuwa na ubiri jine ya nani? Ya Yesu. Test every spirit. Don't just jump. I'm telling you from next year. Don't just jump to any man. Ati mutu wa mechomokea kwa YouTube. Mutu wa mechomoka kwa ama TV. Mutu wa mechomoka hivyo. Zizi yota tunakebia na mapesa zetu. No. Before you give your money. Because giving your money at the altar. You are making a covenant. It is a sacrifice. And a sacrifice is a covenant that you are making. You must be able to know what kind of a covenant am I making? What kind of a sacrifice? Yes, I'm giving a sacrifice to who? To what? Because when you say, you have to be able to do it. 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 What is it? This is a year we are expected to be humble. This is a year we are expected to be humble. Because God is going to work through us. God is going to use us in a mighty way that we are going to bring the godliness back to people. The holiness back to people. The kind of a God that we are supposed to worship is going to come back. That we are going to speak healing and the healing is there without pain. Hallelujah. That we are going to have people in church, back in church, who will sit down to be taught the word of God. The people who are going to, uh, to, to respect the anointing of God. The people who are going to respect men and the women of God. And the men and the women of God that are going to come are the men and the women of God. That are going to preach the word of God. And are going to do the will of God. And walk according to the will of God. Not according to the will of man. All these. Let them be preachers. Waimbaji. Gospel artists. All those that are using. Artificial ways of reaching God are going to be not exposed, are going to be destroyed completely. Not just being exposed, they are going to die mysterious death because of what they have done to mankind. Those who those of you who are miracle seekers, who will only come to church because when I was nisikugani ya huduma, mutaagamia hamuta pona. I can assure you, hamuta pona. Bana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mamira ko seekers stay with your disease from today kuendelea. There is no healing. Until you sit down and listen to the word of God. So the word of God will set you free, not your money. And for those who buy miracles, the money to buy miracles imekua cancelled. Bana Yesu asifiwe sana. Those who buy miracles, the money for the miracle we be diverted to the works of God, not buying miracle. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo kama umetayarisha ngiri kumi uniretea kununua miracle kaa na ayo kwa sababu utakuwa masikini. Mungu wata iodoa. Because hameona utumi ya kili. Hame kupatia pesa na utumi ya kili. God is looking for the people who are ready to use the brain that he gave for free. The brains were given to us for free. And the spirit of designing was given to us for free. So it is upon you to be able to design by using also your brains and the spirit that is in you. Kwa hivyo uweze kujua ni wapi where am I sowing? Because we are supposed to sow not to buy the miracle. We are supposed to sacrifice not buying the sacrifice. We are supposed to stand in the gap of God because we are supposed to use sacrifices to communicate with God. Tunauliza mungu. Kama vile Dawudi alimuliza mungu. Alipo kuja kapata. Bibizake wote na watoto na ngombe zime wamechukuliwa. Na walikuwa metoka safari ya kupigana vita za kimungu. Alipo rudi nyumbani. Alikuta kila kitu kimechukuliwa. Walilia sana. 
Walilia lakini what happened he picked the effort akavua nguo kimavazi mavazi magwanda ya maombi akaingia kwenye nyumba ya ndani akauliza Mungu can I go Bwana Yesu asiye sana before you come to this church for that miracle that you want get into your inner room and ask God can I go Hallelujah Before you surrender you give your money to this altar ask God can I give God is looking for total dependency on him He's not looking for pastor dependency I'm not a conveying balance eh be be conveying bearing belt eh belt eh I know na umesafiri kwa ndege I am not a conveying belt I am here to tell you what God wants to do and then you do according to what the word has said not according to me bana yesu asifiwe sana it is not according to me but according to the word of god i am just to give the information and then you receive the information you test the spirit that was speaking in me then you agree with it if, if it is from the lord and also you must be able to understand the which lord hallelujah You must be able to understand which lord. Not every lord is a lord. Not every god is a god. He will say when we pray when we preach we say god of all gods. We are talking about the god that is in heaven. The god that is in heaven. The god that created the earth and the created the heavens. The god that created you, the created animals and everything that was created. Imeundwa kwa sababu ni Mungu alisema. That is how that that is what where God wants us to go. All of us we have sinned. And if I stand here to tell you I'm not a sinner, I've that already that 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 act of cheating you that I'm not a sinner is a sin. Hallelujah. Because I'm lying to you that I'm not a sinner. I am a great sinner. That I need to repent before God so that God can bring me back to him. But I Jesus was sana. Just like you, you are also a sinner. And everybody is a sinner. There is no one on earth this world earth here ambaye si sinner. Hata kama anatoa unabii na anatoa na nywele. Si unaona wanaanza kuniondoa kwa uhubiri. Anajua ninahubiri na anajua napiga tu. Kwa sababu wao walienda Christmas. Bana Yesu asifiwe sana. So what I'm telling you here is that this is a year that you must look for God. 2023 you must go down on your knees and if you refuse to go down on your knees you will be made to go down. You kneel even nobody will ask you to kneel. Utakuwa nitakutana na wewe kwa barabara pale ukiabudu ukiambia Mungu hallelujah you are the God you are the master the king of kings lakini wakati mwingine ulikuwa kabisa nikikupigia simu unaniambia pastor niko busy na kibia kabara nikitoka kabara nitapitia um, Dar es Salaam nikitoka Dar es Salaam nitaenda UK kutoka UK alafu baadaye baadaye maybe nitakuona kitu mwezi wa 4 wa 5 hivyo let me tell you hiyo haraka itaisha na imeisha hiyo haraka imefanya nini imeisha it is you must go on your knee every person every person in this country and in the world they will be forced to go on their knee a calamity in form of punishment will come to you usifikirie ni nywe but there is huge blessings zimefunguliwa milango imefunguliwa but to get there where the blessing is lazima ukwende kwa nis Only the righteous will get the fruits. The fruits are there. Gala zimefunguliwa kila kitu. The kind of business people that are going to be sustained ni wale wanaabudu Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mabiashara nyingi zitafungwa za Freemason. Biashara za Illuminati zitafungwa. Eh? Ndoa za kishetani za kiusherati zinaanguka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. God is going to give you divine connections because of your knees. So anything any riches any authority any power anything that is going to happen this coming year it is because of your knees hallelujah we will be forced we will repent genuinely and on your knees you will be presenting your case in the court of heaven you will be telling people god why did i fornicate god i fornicated god forgive me god i have come nimejua si mzuri diseases will come that 
will expose you what you've been doing. Bwana Yesu asiye sana. Maugojwa utaona magosi zitakuwa zinakuja maugojwa. They will be exposing what you have been doing in the dark. Kama ni mchawi utaona ngosi hii inaanza kutoka unaanza kuwa musugu musugu na ni makanya kanya musugu 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 hivi. Wale ambao wamekuwa wakikudhurumu wao wataenda watakutana na magumu on their road to coming to destroy you. They will be destroyed. Bwana Yesu asiye sana. So what I'm trying to tell you here ni kwamba there is a reason why God has given us this year a year of success but conditioned a year of abundance but conditioned a year of marvelous but conditioned churches are going to be back but churches selected by God pastors are going to be back but pastors selected by who Business people are going to rise up but business people selected by God. God is raising a huge manpower of business people and workers who be kingdom financiers. Bwana Yesu asiye sana. That is why you see there are hotels in Nairobi. For example, let me start with Nairobi. There are huge big hotel five star hotels that are like closing. By the end of this year, by the end of this year and the beginning of January, about 3 or 4 big hotels zitafungwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe for a testimony what I'm telling you five star kama mbili ama tatu zitafungwa and the righteous will be given Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana the righteous will be given I wish you stopped saying amen because you don't know how Wacha kusema amen hiyo amen ya huyo Kristo waachana nayo huo wa Kristo wa Kora tuweke chini sema ni tuweke chini tuseme amen tukijua tunasema amen he told Joshua i have given you jericho hallelujah i have given you what nimekupatia jericho lakini subsequent report from i have given you jericho what happened what, is, what did he follow saying aliwaambia but be strong and be courageous but he has given you what It is God giving you Jericho. Ni Mungu amekupatia, nimekupatia mume, nimekupatia mke, nimekupatia kanisa, nimekupatia biashara, nimekupatia, nimekupatia me the Lord. Ambaye alikuwa na Musa nimekupatia. But be be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. What does that statement tell you? Has he really given you Has he really given you? He has not given you anything. He is telling you prepare for a battle. <laughs> He's telling you he prepare because you, you to be strong. Kwani unakuwa strong kwa nini? Why is he telling you be strong and courageous? Why is he telling you do not be afraid nor be dismayed if he has given you? No, he is telling you man of son of man be prepared. I am giving you a territory that you are going to conquer. Because it is through conquering that we make it. God will be seen through us by conquering, by having been given the power and the capacity to conquer. Therefore, what God will do to you, he will give it to you but with a condition and enable you to conquer. So he will never be able to enable a person Wherever you go, he will not be able to enable you if you are not a good friend to him. He only enabled Joshua because Joshua lived in the tent worshiping and trusting God while Moses could go to the mountain to go and speak to God. But Joshua never went to the mountain to speak to God. He waited for information faithfully to wait from God. So we must learn to wait faithfully and experience God faithfully. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So when God is saying he's going to give you abundantly, he's going to give you huge riches, he's going to turn around churches, he's going to turn around pastors and everything, there is a battle. Whatever that is given to you by God, it is not by without a battle. Because God want to exemplify himself, to glory himself by what you will be able to achieve. You cannot glory God, glorify God if you never achieved. And you can only achieve by destroying the 
altars of the devil and the walls of Jericho and everything that happens because if you only that is where I'm going now if you only obey and walk the way God wants you to do therefore these are the things that are going to happen to you these are the there will be blessings and these blessings will come as a result of what I'm telling you but the Deuteronomy chapter number 28 now it shall come to pass verse number one now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the lord your god to observe carefully all his commandments which i command you today that the lord your god will set you high you set you high above all nations of the earth if you obey diligently the voice of your god if you obey, not only obeying, but being diligent on that obedience. That is what God is looking at. It is a tough condition for you to succeed. It is a tough condition for you to be healed. Even the healing is conditioned on this. God is going to heal you, but condition is that if you obey, diligently obey the voice of your Lord, your God, to observe carefully after being diligent then you become careful all his commandments which I command you today it is about obeying carefully diligently the voice of God on the commandment that he has told you that we must be righteous we must be clean we must be smart this is a year that you are not going to be pembezwad. Can you say, oh, nita protesta wa shirika? Nikiogea hivyo. Edo tafuta kanisa kubebereso kwa sababu wale wana bebereza wamepere kwa jera wote. They will not be there. So, ukitoroka hapa wede kwa muigine, utabia wewe, ulitoroka kanisa igine, rudi uko. No miracle for you. Wewe ukitoroka hapa uende kwa huyo mwingine na huyo mwingine utafika huko uwapio go back you've come from because we will be operating in one spirit so miracle seekers ule wangu <laughs> you must diligently and faithfully follow the commandments as instructed today that the lord your god will set you high above all nations when you diligently and obey God, you stop what you are doing. You stop that kind of uh, Illuminati spirit thing you are doing. You stop and they become, stop being a gay. You stop being a lesbian. You stop being a, a witch. You stop being uyumutu wakuduga watu na vitu na ukisu na uko mugogo. A backstabber. You stop being a backbiter. You stop being stupid in your head. Then God will come to you. Even stupidity is hated in the Bible. Mungu amesema mtu mujiga azipate miracle. Wagapi wajiga hapa inua mkono juu? Ninyi mtaeda biguni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So you must be ready to follow. You must be ready to walk and if you surrender in totality to God, he will lift you high above all nations. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. That is the condition that once you obey, once you live, once you walk, once you do according to him, then he's going to lift you high above. That is why I said business community that is respective of the word of God is going to be lifted. The church of God that is respective of the word of God is going to be lifted. Marriages that are respective of the word of God are going to be lifted above all the nations. Not one nation, not two nations, but above all the nations your children will be lifted up yourself you'll be lifted up whatever you do will be lifted up why because of the diligence of obeying and walking uprightly and righteously but i say then these are the blessings that are going to be associated with you i will be talking about the blessing and the counter of it akas the cast will be finding them in uh, verses 15 downward. But I'll be reading verse 1, verse 2, and then verse 15. Then I'll be showing you what will befall. 
Ndambia kwa wale shoshu. Wale shoshu udu kathi kiliye kitho kukeke muno. Ule kato hujeri ya domero raya. Wale niko kukodela kakiro kanyama. <laughs> and all these blessings, once you follow, and once you are lifted high above, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. This is what will come to you. This is what you will get because of just being obedient. Not because of going to church. Not because of being loyal to your pastor. Not because of being faithful to your pastor. No, but being faithful to God. You would rather not be faithful to me, but be faithful to God. But I say, Sana, because there, it's only God that is going to make. God has taken over the nations. God has taken over the control of these nations. And it's him he is sitting now on the throne. Who calling one by one and telling you, back off what you are doing, get out of here. And I am blessing you because you've done this. The time for God to rule has come. Kenya is a nation that is blessed by God. It's a nation that it is meant to bring the revival of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the gospel is starting, has already started from Kenya, going to other African countries, to Nigeria, to South Africa, to Congo, to all over Africa. Then spreading upwards to Asia, spreading upward to Europe and to America. That is why God has decided to run Kenya himself. But I answer this so hile madoidi ya kusema mimi ni mpasa wa theology, yu theology yenu imefika mwisho. If you are the theology and go and take it to the toilet. Keep it to yourself because now it is the voice of God. Hallelujah. Mimi sisemi wa musiso mesa omeni. But it is the voice of God. Hile experience huko now, experience will not work, will not count here. It is how you are listening to God. Hallelujah. It is how you are hearing from God. You use that the origin, the origin, the that is your logical, then you apply God in the theory, not apply experience. You apply the experience, you are done. But I don't know whether you are getting me. And this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. You don't need to travel to anywhere from today on. If you are in the city, remain in the city, the blessings will find you. If you are in the village, remain in the villages, you will drive a range over while in the village. But I say, son, if it is money, will find you where you are because the blessings will follow and overtake you. So you don't need to bless, to seek how would forty who see forty blessing. You don't need to rush to follow the blessing. You need to do the will of God, and God will do. The rest. seek ye the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, and all others will be added unto you. So it is not about coming from Ranga because you've had a pastor and a fanya pana. It is you sitting there. Jehoshaphat was told, sit down and see the deliverance I'm about to bring to you. It is God. Deuteronomy verse chapter number 7. And when you get into this nation that I'm going to hand over to you, it is God that will hand over to you the nation. Not you going for the nation. And the God can never give you a nation if you are a mkora. God can never give you a nation if you are a prostitute. God can never give you a nation if you are a hypocrite. You are a witch. You are devil worshiper. You are illuminati. You are a gay. You are a lesbian. In the name of saying the lesbian. You are a yudu na mugu hivi. You are a shetani. You are a mutu. I am a lesbian because I was created that way. I am a mimi ni gay because this is godly. Chapa na ukate mkono moja unirete ni lipe bilu. God never created you, have we? God created you with a reason. A man, a woman was produced from a man with a reason. So you cannot say, Kuna mahari walieda makandika wakasahau, wakaeka gadget zikini abazo weni mwanaume lakidi dani yako una feeling feeling za mwanaume, za mwanamke. No, that's, that's, Kwani ubavu yako ilipereko wa kilogoni, ikafanyo ukarabati, ama ilifanyo ilipereko ubavu ya China. No. Lesbian and gays must stop here in this country. 
And we are going to fight it physically, not, not spiritually. We are going to deal with them physically. And somebody be told, we are going to deal with it physically, not spiritually. Because this is a spiritual, this is a physical thing. Kwani unaidaka spiritually? Okay, pake mafuta, unapakaka spiritually. No, we have to deal with these people. Because you cannot allow. They have taken our children in schools. The in schools, let's say, Bianzi Mundi, Mekwe, Mepanda, Gaze, is in schools. Our children are coming back with Uritua Manaumi, Unarudishua Manamuke. At a meeting, Meshukuru Kona, Daniago, Badoni Manaume, Nemo Mabia Kuja, Sika Micro, and Akasika Micro, Akasema Mimi, Mimi Nikua Baya. To Messia Kisamarikum Baya. Eh, Kadukam Wamunota. But I asked you, my son. So these things are some things that you are going to confront. The way Jesus went to the church and they found people who have turned the church to become a commercial place and akachukua nyawunyo, akanyorosa watu. Lazima tu wanyorose. I'm a commander. I'm the same commander. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Muzi nifikirie hivi hivi. Hapana, nitawanyorosa. Na hapo kikuja ulete uchawi na uganga yako na ujinga yako, no. I will deal with you directly. Head on. Mundu kumundu. Ala? Mutu umefanya kazi hapa, kama sasa tuseme huyu. Hamefanya kazi hapa miyakamiwiri, tumekaa na ee. Alafu, aibe kitu ya kanisa. Niseme ni spirit ili muigia. Apana. No. Nitakupanga. 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 Na yesu badu atakuwa na mimi. Eh. Hey. No, kuna vitu vikina ta munaekele yaka shetani Tumekana huyu muse hapa Dami ya kamitatu Alafu wachukua hile mashini ya ibe Unataka kuniapia huyu ni, ni, ni shetani No, no uh -uh. Kwa hivyo tutuleta tuna shetani Kwa hivyo umekua shetani all the time Tadi, Sasa ndio sasa ndio tumiaza kujua ni shetani Hapana ulikuwa kipaka Na ulipaka na akili yako <laughs> God is invited so the devil. Bana Yesu sana. Did you get me? God is invited. So the what? Yes. Before the devil, before you start involving the devil, you invited him into your mind. Before becoming a gay, you invited the gayism in you. Before becoming a lesbian, you were invited. Before you become a liar, you invited. So I will deal with that which invited first. I love demon to tattoo about that. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. <laughs> Kuna mama anajeka kimodo hiki kwa kitri kiao noka. <laughs> Nyoka hono kae. Ndiweka na ngo mabogo. Anataka na ujika hapa na watu wako na hakili zimejaa kwa kichwa. Hakili Mungu alikupatia for free. Alafu bado wewe unalia unalia kumbe ni ujika tu. No, we have to change the way we are thinking. God is giving us just a simple instruction. Be faithful and be diligent. Follow me. Do what I'm telling you. All that. Iyo tu ndiyo tunashidwa. Eh, ni hati ya we. Iyo tu ndiyo tunashidwa pasta. Akili, anakwebe be diligent. Be faithful. Iyo tu, ogo tu. Na kutu hakuna muzigo na yekerewa kwa mgogo. Hakuna kitu unabiwa beba. Hakuna karamu unabiwa adika. Hakuna mahali unabiwa toka kwa iyo kiti. Unabiwa be faithful to the word of God. The voice. Iyo tu. Na ukwe diligent. Na ufata kwa ukamilifu Na ukwe mtu mzuri That is a problem Iyo diyo problem Kama iyo diyo problem si wacha ni kunyorosa diyo usikie Ka utoka ni just simple Na ukitoka hapa Ukikataku kwa faithifu Unaedo nafanyishwa usherati Unarara huko ije na wanaume huko Kwa dome sita Na uriapi ukwe nini? Faithifu Na ukwe nini? Kuna muziku ulipepeshwa Na ukienda kwa shashani, unafanyishwa kazi usikumusima. Unafanyishwa pasta. Mame ni marisa. Pasta. Yani, you see the stupidity that is in me? I was told just sit down. Joseph had aliambiwa sit down and see the deliverance I'm about to bring to you. Only that. And he sat down. The akambiwa tengeneza praise and worship continue praising me. And the enemies were caused to fight where they were. They fought waka uwana mbaka waka marizana. Joseph had wakambiwa sasa amuka. Go and collect. That only Hiyo tu tumeshidwa Hiyo tu kitu kitogo tu Okuamini kukua faithifu Hiyo tu di unashidwa Kuwacha kare kama wanamuke Hiyo di umeshidwa Kuwacha hako kama wanaume Hiyo di ukuogia tu uogo Di uime kushida Sipasi unaitaji kiboko 
Kania hui mama. Hui mama na imagine hiyo mimi sitaweza kuacha. Sasa itabidi nichapwe. <laughs> Bana Yesu asiwe sana. Therefore God will deal with you if you don't act godly. God will act to you. And he will make you kneel. And you rather afadhali upigwe na shetani. Wacheni niwaambie badugu. Afadhali ungepigwe na shetani kuliko kupigwa na Mungu. Kwa sababu ukipigwa na shetani kuna kwa kutorokea. Sasa imagine Mungu ameukamata na kwenye rosa mami. Ogiole lako. Utaenda wapi? Sasa unalala unakuja maobi. Unaopa mwaka mzima nothing is happening. Unaopa unatoa masaki ni basi. Ni madu teta magogona. Wote ni ataka dikwa ngani ngeigwa muhuji oge YouTube keto mama gogona. Ki baka ukeigwa ki YouTube keto mama gogona. Kiona ki ale deni wa MTube ke age uta magogona. Unasikia magogona magogona ametoa magogona 100 kwa MTube kwa YouTube kwa YouTube kwa XTube zote ametoa. And nothing is happening. Ukimfuatilia vizuri wamekosana na Mungu. Sasa huyo nitakuobea aje. Wewe umekosana na Mungu, nitakuombea mimi naomba naombeaga watu wale wamekosana, wale wako kwa shetani ni watoe. Sasa wewe uko kwa Mungu lakini umekosana na nani? Gweraga <laughs> yatea. <laughs> Ndio nanaka nakwambia Mungu tu atakuhurumia. Ukisikia nimekwambia Mungu atakuhurumia, wewe ndio ukijua umekosana na Mungu. Hata usirudi kwangu tena, enda kabisa. <laughs> kwa sababu sitakusaidia. Mungu ameniambia wachana na huyo, <laughs> tutamnamshughulikia. <laughs> Sasa unatoka hapo na kibia kwa nganga <laughs> Na nganga na avio Uyo ni mtu na shugulikia Nganga na kwa bia utabarikiwa Anakupita Unaeta kwa James mai na nganga Hata pepo utoki Anakuwa kwele soa Unakua tu mekauka Kwa sabu hauna pepo ni kushugulikua na shugulikiwa Unatoka hapo unaeda wapi Kwigine Kwa sabu ya kuwa ni mugu na kushugulikia Hakuna muhibiri hata mumoja Atafauru kwako Until ujue mulikosania na mungu wapi Wakati utajua mulikosania na mungu wapi Na itakuwa just one word Or repentance Only that Just repent Hallelujah The power of confession Just confess The other day I was speaking on YouTube about Wale watu wametua amoeba Wegi uzuri aki Wame, wame piga masimu watu wame piga. Uzuri sito najua ni simu Simuoni anioni Kwa hivyo ananitorea story zote Na hiyo diyo mungu walikuwa nataka Haki wamebadilika. Wamebadilishua maisha. Wamekusikia vizuri. Ha, alafu wametoa. Kuna mmoja alitua 300,000. Kuna mgini alitua 1 million. Kuna mgini alitua. Sasa wakati ya mekonifesi. Hata waudi wanatuma kilisi masi wanarebia. Siu kule tuka sikuko. Bwana Yesu asipia sana. Haulipishu. When God is dealing with you. Haulipishu. And can I tell you when to know how God is dealing with you? When to, for you to know that God is dealing with me, you are always in the grace. How kosangi chakura? Inafikaka za kuminabili hakuna chakura. Lakini wakati unaeda kurara jau, unaona chakura imekuja. Bwana Yesu siwe sana. Inafikaka kanyumba kanafugwa. Wakati na adilodi anaeda kuweka kufuri, unasikia pesa. Kang, kang, tang, tang. Pesa inaigia. <laughs> Bwana Yesu siwe sana. Wakati unaenda kufukuzwa unapio na radio toka sasa. The day you are to move out. Unasikia kuna kitu imetokea mahali. Imekusevu. You are with God. Kuna mana. There is mana. But when it is dry na una kafuka nyumba kamiekwa kufuri. Uyo ni shetani. Ukiona vitu zimerushu wa ije. Kabisa. There is no grace. You are out. Bwana Yesu siwe sana. That is how to know. Ni nini inakushugulikia. Unagojeka, unapele kwa baka hospitalini, unalara baka kwa kitada miezitana na watu wana kuraitu of, wanawacha ukame umekufa. Hata wanaenda kuanza kutengeneza. Masa, mutu wa sadu kwa nabi, waneto, nega wakako kwa naro uchio e. E, todo, wameacha kama unakufa. Hata mutu wa mocha ni kwa sababu wana pesa migi ya napigua. E, mwana, e, kemani, ole akwa, e, netu wana niru watana e. Neko kwa sharia, neko kwa sharia. Kwa sababu unamprepare. Unamprepare kuna mutu, tuna, kuna kitu tunaleta kwa kwa. Eh? Waliwacha kama umeisha. Waliwacha kama umekuwa muisho. The following day wanakuja. Wanakuta badu unabrithi. <laughs> kwa za, kwa za umiogezeka gufu. <laughs> eh? Wata wanaeda. He, kai, oshi ya manoka. Oshi ya nonoka. Oshi ya wananoka. Kai, jari, ito maadhi ya ugu. 
Jeri waji unakuta. Wewe ya bao si jeri. Wewe diyo tunasidikisa. Jeri bado na survive. 